This is the Mandelbrot set, one of the most beautiful and remarkable discoveries in the entire history of mathematics. Yet it was discovered as recently as 1980. I've seen some remarkable developments and inventions in my lifetime, but one of the most extraordinary is the Mandelbrot set and fractal geometry. This film will explore the fractal universe. I made many, many pictures of it. First of all, the first one was very rough. But the very rough picture, that was not the answer. Each rough picture asked the question, so I made another picture, another picture, another picture. And after a few weeks, we had this very strong, overwhelming impression that this was a, a kind of big bear we have encountered. No matter how much we magnified it, a million times, a million times, until the original set was bigger than the entire universe, we would still see new patterns, new images emerging because the frontier of the M set is infinitely complex. And when I say infinitely, I really mean that. Most people, when they say infinitely, they mean only or rather big, but this is really infinity. So indeed it was, um, um, arose in my mind to put together a new geometry, which is a geometry of shapes which are equally rough at all scales. There's an infinite variety here, just indeed as there is in the world of nature. We see shapes that remind us of elephant's trunks, tentacles of octopi, seahorses, compound insect eyes, there's some connection between the Mandelbrot set and the way nature operates. The Mandelbrot set is infinite in detail. The real universe, however, does seem to have limits. As you go down to the micro world, you get, of course, molecules, atoms, neutrons, and perhaps subatomic particles, quarks, but does the real universe go on forever? Is there a limit, a basement, unlike the Mandelbrot set? In the case of the universe, there seems to be a limiting scale. It is called the Planck length, and it's about a million billion billion times smaller than an inch. This means that there is a limit to how complex the universe can be. It also means that the universe could be described by a theory that is fairly simple. I just hope that we are smart enough to find it. This is the blood circulatory system of the human body. And yet, you'll recognize it, it is a kind of fractal. Now we can understand what is really happening when our blood circulates. Here is the most important fractal of all in the human body. A small portion of the incredibly complex wiring circuit of the brain. We may never understand how our brains work, but if we do, I suspect they'll depend on some application of fractal geometry.